on Friday, I went to see a gynecologist who specializes in menopause. Here's the gynecologist whose talk I went to. I found it very interesting and helpful and useful. And so I booked an appointment and he's prescribed me these two. Eutrogestin and Femigel. So these are the pharmaceutical equivalents of the compounded products that I've been using. Currently, up until today, I've been trying the birth control pill as HRT because Menopause Taylor who is here on YouTube, you can check out her channel. I'll pop her icon here on the screen. I did a consult with her and she said that the um, birth control pill is probably the best form of HRT for me being 45 because I'm quote unquote young. I don't, I don't feel young anymore, but I know what she means. I'm too young for actual menopause. And she says the birth control pills have higher doses of estrogen and that's what you need when you are younger. And the reason she suggested that is because she said, who would I find to prescribe me higher dosages, the dosages that I need? Anyway, I found him. <laughs> I found the gynecologist locally to me who is willing to work with me. So he's prescribed me Femi gel here, you can see there. Estradiol gel, the, the plus about the gel that goes through your skin, the plus is that he says, unlike the tablets, which have a small chance of um, increasing your risk for blood clots. Look, I'm not at risk. I'm not a smoker. My blood pressure is not high. In fact, it's on the low side. I'm not overweight. I'm pretty active, healthy, blah, blah, blah. So the birth control pill for me is fine. He said if it were up to him, he would actually prescribe me a different kind of pill where it's a more natural estrogen. But um, the one he's talking about, Clara, you might have heard of it. Um, it. It's a cyclic pill. It's not a monophasic. And as I said to this guy, I'm tired of feeling like I'm on this roller coaster. I just want a standard dose of something that's going to work for me. And I want to feel the same every single day. I am tired. I am freaking tired of roller coastering up and down and feeling tired the one day and full of energy the next or whatever it is, whether it's my own hormones or the birth control pill or something. So he's prescribed me the Femi gel and he says, an HRT dose could be one pump or two. Now, it says here, for every two pumps, you get 1,5 milligrams of estradiol. Um, the compounded stuff, I think one pump gave you two milligrams of estradiol. The problem with the compounded stuff I was using, who knows how much was really in there. When I was using a full pump for me, I would get breast tenderness. And the insert, this is the interesting part, the insert for this says that, um, and I'll read it to you now. I think this is very w worthwhile for every woman to know and hear. Known symptoms of overdosage and particulars of its treatment, pain in the breasts or excessive production of cervical mucus may be indicative of too high a dose. But acute overdosage has not been reported and is unlikely to be a problem. Meaning you can go quite high. It's not going to hurt you or harm you. You'll just get sore breasts and have uh, a very moist <laughs> vagina. Um, and I did notice with the compounded stuff that my boobs got very sore and I was quite lubricated down there. And so with the compounded stuff, I just feel that the dosing is not accurate. With this Femi gel here, like it says there, it's an airless pump. And I would rather increase the dose and have a standard smaller dose rather than trying to have a dose in another pump where now you, you, you're not sure, did you get half out and did you press it properly? It's really hard. So I've just done a test of this one um, and it pumps out quite nicely. So from tomorrow, I'll be starting this and reporting. Currently, I'm on a birth control pill called Nordet. Nordet contains 30 micrograms of ethanol estradiol and levonorgestrel, which is the progestin. It's an older progestin. I haven't had any issues with that. I had major side effects, issues, whatever you want to call it, with Jeanette 35. Um, Yasmin Plus gave me a raging headache at night, so I stopped that. So for me, it's been trial and error. Uh, I'm going to try this now, the pharmaceutical versions of the compounded stuff that I was on. So I've also got eutrogestin. This is the progesterone component. If you have your uterus, ladies, you need some form of progesterone, progestin, 
a marina, something to protect your uterus, because it's pretty much known that unopposed estrogen can lead to an overgrowth of the cells in your uterine lining, and that potentially could cause cancer. It's not a given that you'll get cancer, of course. It's genetics and many factors, but you don't want unopposed estrogen for too long. Now, with this menopause gynecologist, I asked him, let me just pop that insert away. So I asked him if I find that with this Femigel, the standard two pumps, so they say every two pumps contains um, 1.5 milligrams. So it's a standard two pumps. If I find it's not enough to alleviate my night sweats, for example, because menopause Taylor says when you're younger, you need higher doses. Can I go up? And he said, yes, you can. You can do three pumps, four pumps, Go up until your symptoms are relieved. And then I said, but then what about the progesterone? Do I go up in progesterone as well to match the estrogen? And this is where I finally got a straight answer. The answer I've been looking for on the internet and just couldn't find it. He says, no, with the progesterone, the micronized progesterone, so it's not a progestin. This is body identical, bioidentical, whatever you want to call it. It looks, I mean, it's manufactured, obviously, but it's identical to the molecule that your own body makes. <laughs> this, he says, you take either 100 milligrams continuously every day if you do not want to have a period, or you take 200 milligrams, so two capsules, for 14 days out of your cycle, and then you obviously take it only for the 14 days, and when you stop, you will have a, a withdrawal bleed, but you continue with your estrogen. Ta-da! There is my question answered. As always, if you found this video useful and helpful, please do give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. It is now over a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! Hit the goal. So thank you so much for all your support. And don't forget to share this video with another lady talking about our experiences with perimenopause and menopause. It helps break the silence. It helps us all to learn. It helps us all to have much better menopausal and perimenopausal experiences. We are all not alone in this, and that's my goal with this channel, is to help all of you. If you guys are wondering how much progesterone, not progestin, those are all mixed in with the birth control pills. Those are balanced already for you, done and dusted. But if you are wanting to know for your estrogen gel how much progesterone, he says, you stick to the 100 milligrams regardless of how much estrogel you are using. The 100 milligrams should keep you from bleeding. It should protect your uterus. And in theory, I shouldn't have a period. <laughs> so here's hoping. Now, I do remember when I was on the bioidentical compounded versions of this, even with being on the progesterone, I was getting um, like breakthrough bleeding. So again, one doesn't know what's in the compounded creams, how strong they are, is it too strong? But I'm very excited to start Eutrogestin and Femigel and report back to you ladies. So for those of you in South Africa, there are pharmaceutical, bioidentical, HRT products available. And if we can get these in South Africa, I'm pretty sure you can get it in Australia, <laughs> in the UK, in America, and in most Western countries across the world. I'm 99% sure that if we can get this here in South Africa, you can get it in most places. So or something very, very, very similar. It might not be the same lab, laboratory. This is made by Laboratoires Bessens International France. So it's a French company that make these two. But at least I know it comes with an insert. It comes with dosing. Uh, it's proper stuff. It is what it is. So very excited to start that. Just wanted to share what that menopause specialist gynecologist had to say to me. He did say Mirena is something worthwhile considering if I'm worried about my uterus. He said that the progesterone should help if I ha am having spotting and I am having breakthrough bleeding and I would like to eliminate the period and this is not enough. I can then put a Mirena in and of course it's sorted. So there you go. I just wanted to share that with you ladies. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.